The one McRuffy press math activity that generates the most questions is the cube puzzles. These activities use one-inch cubes to translate two-dimensional views from the workbook page into a three-dimensional design. We're going to show you how to build a few of these and also show you some great resources on the McRuffy Press website that demonstrate every design from our workbooks modeled in short videos. Build each design on a piece of paper so it can be easily turned to see the next view. We have created a building mat PDF complete with a 4x4 square grid. Cut on the dashed line to make it a square. You can find a link for the PDF on the Cube video page in the McRuffy Resource Center or just use a plain piece of paper. Before building a design, let's explore a few tips. When you turn to the next view, you might see that cubes on the previous view need to slide. Only move horizontally, left and right, not vertically. Moving blocks forward or backward would change the previous view. You may need to add cubes as you turn to the next view. When adding cubes, you would not create a new stack in a row that is taller than a stack that is to the left. That would change the previous view. But, you can add a cube or stack that is the same height or shorter. Watch some designs being built to get a feel for how the activity works. Cubes are adjusted left and right as the views turn. Sometimes additional cubes are added. Now let's visit the mcruffy.com website to see the cube puzzle designs in the Resource Center. On the menu, click the Resource Center tab. In a browser window, there is a menu on the left side and across the top. On a phone or tablet, you can access the menu by first tapping the three bars in the top left of the screen. The Resource Center is a new part of our website, and we plan to continue placing helpful resources and product updates here. More buttons will be added as content is developed. In the Resource Center, click a button to choose a grade level. And then choose a subject. And then, an activity. On the Cube Activity page is an interactive video screen, you can choose the number for the lesson. The lesson number will be in the top left corner of the next screen. Each design has a number corresponding to its placement on the workbook page. Click a design number. A video will pop up and start playing. It begins on the first view and holds there for a few seconds before moving to the next view. Use the pause and play button or the seek bar to control the movement of the video. You can freeze the frames as you study the design and move back and forth between views. The yellow arrow will take you back to choose another design on the workbook page. You can click the yellow arrow on the lesson page to go back to the main menu. Or use the drop-down menu with the three bars in the top left corner to go to any other lesson. You can scroll down the puzzle page to find helpful tips and links to PDF files of the workbook activities and the building mat. We hope you found this video helpful 
and will visit us often at mcruffy.com.